When we first met Gabe and Nell and his family outside their home in Beacon, New York, he, like much of the country, was in a state of economic shock. This has never happened before. This has never happened before. It was March of 2020, and Gabe had just lost his job as a sound engineer for a company doing corporate events. We were there the day of his last paycheck. So April 1st, are you going to make a mortgage payment or not? Good question. We haven't even talked about that. We've since returned three more times, most recently last week, where we heard something that may surprise you. You'd think the last time you guys would be here, it'd be great. But this is probably the worst that I've ever been. Even as President Biden touts his economic record. After my first year as president, the United States had the fastest economic growth in nearly four decades. People like Gabe are still far from recovery. How do you think the Biden administration's doing? I don't see it working for us. I don't. We don't see it. You want to, after the last administration, you want to be like, yay, they're helping us. And they made all these promises. And then you just see everything going down the tubes. Okay. Two full years now into the pandemic, Gabe's career hasn't bounced back. And even with his wife, Claudia, earning income as a property manager, the Annels recently had to make the difficult decision to ask relatives for help. It's embarrassing. I don't like it. I don't like it. And Claudia fears the rest of the country has already moved on. It's just a long time and people are tired. And I don't think people or the government or anybody is really all that worried about how people are getting by anymore. You 